Um, <coughs> sorry, coughing. Um, I want to talk about a rather complicated subject, which um, uh, is uh, of great interest to me, um, and about my new novel. Um, but I'll talk about it in the, in the, in the general terms. Um, there seems to be some misunderstanding um, about two two sort of binary notions the theist atheist one and the idealist materialist one um, forgive me if this feels a little arcane and abstruse but um, so let's just deal with atheist and theist now an atheist doesn't believe in God that's fine but not believing in God is different to criticizing religions. Um, I'm perfectly up for criticizing religions, but I don't think, and if we take the Chris Hitchens book, God is not great and the um, Dawkins uh, God delusion, they are 90% about religions and not about God. Um, and the reason that distinction is important is because you can, if you are a theist, which is essentially means you believe in God, you are not necessarily religious. Um, I am a theist, by which I would say my habits of mind and my lived experience suggest to me that there is a God, but I'm not religious, not in any way. I'm not practicing anything. Um, I am hugely sceptical of organised religion. Um, even radical Christians um, would never include me in their in their congregation. Um, however, that but the problem is is being a theist to most people necessarily means that you're religion you're religious. Now, and the reason that is is is, is very important, and it's not something I can do very much about, or anyone can, is because. There is no language about God that isn't religious in some sense. Uh, the word God, for instance, um, you know, the notion of the sacred, um, you know, all of those things um, essentially make you sound as though you're talking like a religious person. Um, so I think that's an important distinction. If you're a theist, you're not necessarily religious. It just means that you're not an atheist, um, and it means that you're not a materialist. Now, I just want to um, talk quickly about materialism. Um, and I don't mean going off to IKEA. Uh, the materialist position is this: um, that we are that the universe now and throughout time has, is entirely made up of physical properties and nothing else. And that everything we do, every thought we have, every action we take, everything we create, everything positive, destructive, all of those, everything from our, the blinking of our eyes to reflection, creativity is the result of a physical action that goes right back to the Big Bang. The particles hit particles that hit particles that hit more particles that hit more particles and that over those 14 billion years or whatever it is um, the physical actions have become so complex that um, that, that, that we are that we are the manifestation of in, the most extraordinary um, physical reactions. Um, that is the materialist position. Um, it is as problematic as an idealist or transcendental idealist position. Um, it cannot be proven. Um, and therefore it is an act of faith, and that's fine, but I find it slightly ironic that, that 
materialists have to appropriate faith to prove a, a, a philosophical position which is fundamentally rational and shouldn't need faith to prove it. It is a metaphysical position. But that's fine, because it may be, you know, we may one day have the tools, the instruments to, to prove that is the case, but it is unproven. Um, now, the reason this is an issue um, is, and if you forgive me, it's, it's, it's about my novel. Now, my novel has a, has a theist as the central character, but this man is, is not in any way religious um, and is not a Christian. Uh, he doesn't believe in the resurrection, which is the normative definition of being a Christian. You cannot be a Christian if you do not believe in the risen Christ. Um, he doesn't believe that. He doesn't believe in any organised religion. He's not interested in organised religion. He's only interested in, in if you have an intuition of God, um, how do you articulate it? Um, excuse me. Without resorting to um, you know, Christian tropes and metaphors. Now, I don't think one should resist that. I think the in the West we are essential, essentially cultural Christians. Um, the religious and spiritual narratives that we've grown up with are essentially Christian. So it is perfectly acceptable to kind of to create a dialogue between a, a notion of theism and and the kind of Christian narrative and to try and pull apart and maybe ultimately split apart those two things, to, to, to have a option available to be a theist um, and not be a Christian, but 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 use the use the common language um, to express myself. Otherwise you're left with silence, which is fine, but that's a but that's a problem when one has written a 600 page novel and one reason writes a 600 page novel because one tries to, one tries to get to a resting place which may well be silence um, but one has to, to go there one has to find oneself there through talking about it through um, through you know great acts of stupidity and um, and naivety and maybe grandness. I don't know. Um, I mean, otherwise we're left with you know Wittgenstein's last um, sentence in the you know the the, the the Tractatus, which is you know whereof we cannot speak, thereof we must remain silent. Um, I mean that is. I mean I think that is the, you know one's final position on God. I mean, uh, you know if you if you look at all the theologians from all the great religions, um, their final place is the unknowability of God. Um, and that's, that seems to be the only reasonable um, position to have. It's not a religious position. It's a philosophical position. It's a theological position. But it doesn't, it doesn't deny God. It just it means that our in, intu, in, intuition of God is, is, a, is still allowed, but we don't become religious with it. And that's a very interesting world to occupy, um, which is the ultimately the, the place that my novel occupies. But the difficulty is, is, is you know, it's been, it's been read by a Christian press who says it's theologically unsound and unsatisfying and it's been read by 
by atheists, materialists, who essentially think it's a Christian book, um, or that it is, you know, book of, you know, a, a book that's, you know, yeah, I mean, essentially a Christian book. Um, but there is another space to occupy, and, and that is, you know, a, a theist, you know, a theist position that is non-religious, um, one that 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 tries to wrestle with the unknow unknowability of, of God, um, and still think that, and and, and values what it is, what it means to have that experience to 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 feel this intuitive existence of god and know that no matter what we do there is no reasonable or rational way one can ever make sense of that um because to to make sense of it the moment you make sense of god you become that sense becomes a religion. It might become a religion of one, but if you are, you know, articulate, persuasive, and charismatic, maybe that's you become a religion of two and three and four and whatever. To make sense of God is to be religious. To not make sense of God is to be a theist. Which you can. Um, and there has to be a a a, a space where one can talk about those things. Um, you know, I, I don't know whether my novel is successful or not in doing that. I think it ultimately is. It might take a while to get there because one has to dispel, you know, many things. You know, if you, you know, the people that ask him, you know, um, you, you think you believe in God, you know, and then every single question is essentially religious. That has to be dispelled before we get to that resting place of, of silence and unknowability. Um, that's why it's a 600 page book. But I do feel slightly frustrated that, um, you know, new atheism is as evangelical as, you know, um, normative Christianity is unreceptive to criticism or a rethinking of the Christian proclamation, as it were. Um, but anyway, I think that's it. Um, uh, yeah, um, I will be very interested if anyone's got anything to add on that. Um, and uh, yes, thank you very much.